because your testimony could help someone else. Amen. So let them know that when God did it for you, He'll do it for me.
give them. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's great. 
Missy Gray, Missy Gray. So, 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 Rubber Doll, she gonna take your baby. She gonna take her. She got one exchange. She got one exchange. But once again, I met her and I, I love her already. Amen. She reminds me of myself, but she, I think she look, she got more going on than I do. But uh, it's just like spirit meeting one another. Amen. Right now, I ask that you receive her. Receive her with open heart. Amen. Listen to what the Lord has given her mm -hmm. to say to you. Amen. Let it dwell within your heart. Mm -hmm. Not just something to gather here to say you came and you had a good time. I hear people that I ask people, I say, well, what did he preach about? I don't know, but he sure preached good. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Well, I'm like, oh my goodness, it was nothing, you know? But it's going to touch, I, I know it's going to touch someone because God's word does not go out. Amen. Long. That's right. So I ask and I give to you our speaker for the hour, Pastor Lamar Dobbs of the St. Paul AME in, in Canton, Georgia. Amen. Let's give her a hand.
serves as the leader of our um, class leaders ministry. So thank Amen. you all for um, taking time from your busy schedules to come out and to share with us this morning. Amen. Let us go to the Word. If you have your Bibles, let me turn to First John chapter 1. We want to focus this morning on the scripture that provides 1 John chapter 1, beginning at verse 1, and I'm going to read the first seven verses. Uh, we're going to put emphasis on verses 3, 6, and 7. If you have your Bibles, would you turn there? It's in the, old, in the New Testament part of the Bible, near the back. If you get to Revelation, you pass it. Amen. I'm reading from the New International Version. Uh, would you stand for the reading of the Word? Amen. Reading the New International Version of the Bible. So it may be a little bit different than what you had. It reads like this. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testified to it. And we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and has appeared to us. With emphasis, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that also you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you. God is a light. In him there is no darkness at all. all right. Emphasis on 6 and 7. If we claim to have fellowship with him, yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live by the truth. All right. Come on now. But if we walk in the light mm -hmm. as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord, and if you will pray with me, I want to speak for just a few moments from the subject, in keeping with your theme, a testimony of true fellowship. I want to speak from the subject, true fellowship. True fellowship. Let us pray. Almighty God, we have died and we are satisfied physically. Lord, it is now time for us to break the bread of life. Yes, Lord. That which encourages us, that which points us in the right direction, that which educates us, that which empowers us to do your bidding, oh Lord. I pray, oh God, that you will anoint your vessel afresh. Yes, Preach Lord. to me and through me, oh Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, let your word go forth and accomplish what you send it to accomplish. Let it not return to your void, oh God. All right. Lord, we pray, pray that as this word goes forth, oh God, that it will go forth with power, with boldness, with simplicity, and with clarity. Mm -hmm. Let your word fall on some good soil. Yes, Lord. Lord. Take yes, root and grow and produce some fruit that glorifies your kingdom. Yes, and Lord. what it does, Almighty God, we will not take any of your credit, but we'll give you all the praise, yes. all the glory, yes. and all the honor. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Yes. Amen. 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 True fellowship. Amen. Come on now. In our text, the Apostle John, who is the son of Zebedee, one of the twelve, writes to a church that is divided. In the inner circle of Jesus, in Jesus' three-person posse, mm -hmm. Peter, James, and John, that John All right. is moved in his spirit and disturbed in his spirit. And he sits down and he writes this letter to this church telling them to be on their guard. All right. 
All right. To keep the faith. Mm -hmm. All right. To stay true to the gospel message. Mm -hmm. And he also writes to them about the fellowship. All right. That's what we want to part this morning, talking about true fellowship. Yeah, right. Amen. All right. Amen. It's good to have a fellowship prayer breakfast, mm -hmm. Mrs. Right. Ivy. I commend you on a job well done. Yeah. Did she do a great job? First Zion Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. However, if we leave here today mm -hmm. and leave the fellowship behind, mm -hmm. we will be perpetuating that which John was so concerned would happen in the body of Christ. So as I stand here this morning, I, I came not to criticize, All right. All right but to encourage, All right. All right. All right. not to, to disempower or make impotent, but to empower. All right. All right. Not to talk down to, but to educate. All right. All right. Not to tell you what you're doing wrong, but also to encourage us in those things we do that do Please the Lord. All right. All right. All right. The church All right. is split. Uh -huh. And if, if the truth be told, the church is still split. All right. All right. That's good. That's good. That's good. If, if the truth be really told, not only is the church split, some families are split. All right. All right. Amen. Now, right. I don't know, I know two people from Rock Mart. And they don't live here anymore, so I'm not in anybody's place. Right. I'm not talking about you don't be mad at me. I do live in Mapleton, though, and I got a church up in Canton, and I, I, I love the church up in Canton, and I love where I live, so if you throw me out, I don't have to come back. But it's like, I'm going to love you anyway. I know two folks from Rockmart, uh, Cantrell Cook and... Um, Oh, man, I can't think for Andre Favors. I don't know Andre's maiden name. Favors is her married name. But if you if you run me out of Rockmark, I can get the cat by not coming through here. So it's like, <laughs> amen, amen, amen. John writes this letter while John sits in Ephesus in Asia Minor. John is much moved and concerned about what is happening in the church. And here's the heresy that the false teachers are getting away with. They're teaching that Jesus is not born of a virgin. Mm -hmm. Saying that Jesus is flesh and Christ is spirit as if the two are not one. Mm -hmm. That Christ, they're saying that Christ the anointed one comes upon Jesus when Jesus is baptized. And that Christ the anointed one departs from Jesus before he dies on the cross. And furthermore, they're saying that these, this new theology that they have, that Christians do not sin. Now that may sound that like sounds real like messy, doesn't it? All right. But I, you know what? Fast forward about two thousand years, All right. we hear some heresy today. Amen. All right. All right. We hear a whole bunch of junk theologically, yeah. even when we watch Christian TV and listen to the radio. You better know your word, because if you don't, you'll hear some junk theologically. We hear today that everybody is going to, that saved is going to be financially wealthy. Right. Jump. Amen. Amen. The word says, I would that you prosper as your soul prosper. All right. Because if our soul prosper, we cannot handle the financial blessing. All right. We hear that everybody that is us, uh, um, as long as one's a good person, that he or she will be saved. Jump. Theologically. All right, all right. The Bible says, whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. And today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Yeah. We right. hear that there is no hell. Huh? All That's right. some junk theologically. Yeah. If there was no hell, where tell me in, in Luke chapter 16 did the rich man lift up his yeah. head? to hell. Mm -hmm. That the hell, 
that hell is prepared for the, the <laughs> devil and his angels. True. Uh, but if we do not heed to the word of the Lord, All right, come on, give our lives to say, Christ, say, say. Uh, um, amend our ways and walk in the light that God has given us to walk in, mm -hmm. we will lift up our eyes. And yeah. Therefore, this letter that John pens in antiquity, almost 2,000 years ago, it still speaks to us today. Let us look a little deeper and let's see what God is saying to us through this text All right. about true fellowship. Come on now. Point one comes from 3A. It says, we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you also may have fellowship with us. Yeah. I'm going to lift up this point. It is important, my friends, that we do not dilute the message about right. fellowship. Right. Don't dilute the message. Right. What are you talking about, preacher? I'm so glad you asked. All right. Some of us have reduced the meaning of fellowship Amen. Uh, to, to a location and usually on the side of or in the back of the church right. where we gather together with folk we like. Woo! Come on, preacher. And talk about other folks. Oh. We reduce fellowship to a place called the fellowship hall. Right. Or, you know, sometimes we want to throw a party, uh -huh. and instead of calling it the party, Reverend Houston, we say we have a little fellowship. Amen, 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 amen. However, when John talks about fellowship, there are no fellowship halls. The, the, the Greek word that is translated uh, fellowship is actually the word koinonia. And it speaks to something much deeper than getting together and breaking a little bread and then going on about our business. Koinonia is a supernatural occurrence that happens when the children of God are really in community with one another. All right. According to Barker and Kohlenberg's NIV commentary of the New Testament, koinonia means to be in partnership with. Mm -hmm. to, it means to share a common life with, to be in communion with, mm -hmm. to participate with. Mm -hmm. Koinonia means to have something common or shared as opposed to having one's own. I know I just lost a whole group of folk right there. You mean to share? We don't do that sharing All stuff. Right, come on. That's, that's, that, that was long ago. No, koinonia means that we are together in everything. Right. That means when you hurt, I hurt. Amen. That means when you rejoice, Amen. I rejoice. That means when you bereave, I bereave. That means when you're sick, that I feel it in my body. And I'm on my knees and assess interceding for you. It means that when you're happy because God has done something in your life. And then a few 
few years ago, Campbell did a switcheroo. All right. They introduced a new line of suits called Ready to Serve. All right. All right. In the same red and white can. <laughs> Anybody do what I did? Got one of those cans of chicken noodle soup, put it in the pot. I said, hey, this look a little different. But the can looked the same. I didn't read the fine print. So I did what I normally do. Put a can of water in it. What I had, I think classifies as a hot mess. With some water, with some, with some limp noodles in them. And also in there was um, some little, little bits of chicken. Yeah. But anyway, all the salt and pepper I could muster <laughs> could not fix that mistake. Amen. <laughs> That's how we do with fellowship, though. Right. When we reduce it to just us getting here together here today, knowing so much more than that, where is the true fellowship of Christians today? Right. What have we lost from our first? A disciples of the past. All right. What is it we're doing? All right. It's not a lot of times what God All right. intended. All right. All right. All right. Fellowship is much deeper. Yes. Fellowship means selling all we have right. and making things common. If that's what it means for somebody's needs to be. Amen. Oh, I know you don't want to hear that now. I'm going to pull out one of these amens. Amen, preach. <laughs> And it comes from verse 3b. It says this, and our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Yes. True fellowship. Yes. And true fellowship. Uh -huh. This is, get this true. This is a truism. Vertical. This way. <laughs> Proceeds horizontal. All right. Yes. All right. This yes. way. Mm -hmm. Huh? Alright, come on. Y'all get that? Come on, yeah. Fix it. Fix it. Precedes mm -hmm. horizontal. Come on, right. right now. Right now. I, I, I think y'all want to just be taught this morning. So let me just break it down. Yes. Teach. Yes. Amen. Yes. Can I teach? Yes. Right. Ahead, what, teach. what are you talking about, preacher? Teacher? Uh, vertical. If we're going to have true fellowship, we got to quit playing. All right. All right. All right. All right. And right. get it right with the Lord. Oh, amen. 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 Vertical, vertical. The reason why some of us don't have true fellowship is because this 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 angle right here is not straight. All right. All right. When this angle right here between us and God, is All right. what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. us and the creator, us and the maker, the sustainer of all human mankind, us and the, the savior who gave his life for us. When we don't have it together vertically, we can't have it together horizontally. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Our fellowship is with the Father mm -hmm. and with His Son, Jesus Christ. If we don't have it together with the Lord, it's hard to have it together with our brothers. Amen. 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 We got to get this straight first. Amen. Amen. Yes. Some of us have the mistaken view. That when things are not right with other folk, mm -hmm. that is them, uh -huh. not us. Amen. Uh -huh. Yes. You're right about it. You're right about it. We look, we, we want to point out all of our fellow brothers and sisters' uh -huh. faults. Uh -huh. But we don't yeah. take time look to examine up. ourselves oh, yeah. and examine where we are with the Lord. You know when we start having trouble like this, it's because we already been having trouble like this. Yes. All right. We don't have it together with the Lord. It's hard to love our brother and sister. Because the truth be told, sometimes we're all unlovable. Yeah. But Jesus Christ gave his life. Yes. Paid the cost for our sin. Yeah. So that we could be on one accord with one another. Yeah. It's hard to have true fellowship when we play in church. Yeah. 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 And we love the part. We know when the amen is come. Uh -huh. We know when the praise the Lord is come. Uh -huh. yeah. But it's hard to have true fellowship when we're playing church. Yeah. Yeah. I would sit there with $1,200 in our pocket and give two with the extra offering.